Good morning. Today I want to uh, show Bitcoin Core, the Bitcoin Core wallet, um, a, play, a, a way of storing your Bitcoins on your computer. It'll be on your computer, uh, not at an exchange like Coinbase, where I have most of my Bitcoins. But I want to, I want to show how to send uh, Bitcoins from Coinbase, where I have some, to the Bitcoin Core wallet, which is on my computer. And then I'm going to send some back to Coinbase. So what we need to do is first uh, is, is to download Bitcoin Core. And here's how we can do it. I'm going to go to Chrome. And it opens up to Google. Now you could search Google for Bitcoin Core Wallet. But I already have... Um, I kind of know where you can get it. And if you type up in, in here in the... Um, address box here, bitcoin.org, you will go to this page. Okay, bitcoincore.org. I'm sorry, bitcoin.org. Yeah, bitcoin.org. HTTP secure bitcoin.org. This happens to be English. Okay. And it talks about Bitcoin. You can read that. And then it comes down to get started with Bitcoin. And if you click on that, you go to this page. You're getting started. Here's Inform Yourself. You can read about Bitcoin. Here's Choose Your Wallet. And that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to choose the wallet. And the wallets are here. So you've got desktop wallets for Linux, for the Mac, for Windows. You had a hardware wallet. Uh, a mobile wallet, your Android, your iOS, uh, and then web. But the one I want is the desktop, and here here are the desktop choices. Bitcoin Core, Bitcoin Knots, Electrum, all these. There's a whole bunch of them. But I'm going to do the Bitcoin Core, because that's the one Satoshi Nakamoto originally wrote. Okay, so if I click on Bitcoin Core, it comes here. This is how to download it. So you can just say install. And I'm doing it on a Windows machine, sir, so you could just install it. Okay. And when you do it, you will you it will be on your computer, or you, know, you probably have to open it up and, and run it, and it will install. And then you come up here, Bitcoin Core. And when you click on it it's going to open Bitcoin Core. There it is. Oops, and there it is. Okay, it says it's loading the block index. Now the thing with Bitcoin Core is you have to download the entire blockchain. And it's getting up around, I don't, I'm not sure, it's in the 20 gigabytes or something like that. It's gonna take a while. But I have already done this, and it took a week to download the whole blockchain. And it's mostly on this computer. But I had turned it off overnight, and so I'm a little behind the. I'm, I'm, it has to sync. It has to. You have to have the current blockchain on there in order to to use it. And so anyway, it's still loading the. It's loading the block index, and it's going to do that. So I'm going to pause this until it until it loads. Now it started verifying blocks. This is about five minutes later here. So it's verifying blocks. It's going to go through and verify all these blocks. And it's got to get up to verifying 100%. And then it'll probably have to sync, and you can I'll show you that. So I'm going to pause it again. It's just verifying all the blocks right now. That's why I kind of, once I get it synced, I kind of just leave it on. And I'll uh, leave the computer on. And so I'm, I'm synced all the time. And turn off the computer maybe once a week. And then you will have to go through this again. But it's, it's, if you leave it on all the time, then it comes right up. Okay, I'm going to pause this here. We're still at 1%, but it's got to go through and just verify all these blocks. So I'm going to pause it again. Okay, we're up at 99%. That took about five minutes here. We're verifying at 99%. This is version 15.1. So... Okay, it's at 100%. It's loading the wallet. Loading the P2. Done loading.
Well, I'll pause it again. Let's, okay, it's been a, not even five minutes that it's had, that I've had that done loading. Oops, is it not responding? Oh, I better check on that. Okay, it started up again. It wasn't responding for a while, but then it just caught up. Okay, some recent transaction, transactions may not yet be visible, and therefore your wallet's balance might be incorrect. Instant information will be correct once your wallet has finished synchronizing with the Bitcoin network as detailed below. Attempting to spend Bitcoins that are affected by not yet displayed transactions will not be accepted by the network. Well, I don't think I can send yet. Anyway, number of blocks left, um, progress 99.92%, estimated time left, processing blocks on disk, I'm 22 hours behind. That's because, I guess, Bitcoin Core hasn't been running for about, uh, I turned off the computer at one point and I didn't turn Bitcoin Core back on. So it's got 22 hours to catch up, and we'll, we'll see how long that takes. I don't think it'll take very long. But once it gets started, yeah, I'm just going to pause it for now, but that's what you may see. It's probably what you'll see when you do it. You'll see the screen. It'll tell you how far behind. I was one year behind uh, at one point, uh, but it, you catch up. You just leave your computer on at night, and you'll catch up. Okay, so I'm we're still 22 hours behind. So, okay, I'm just going to pause it here, and that'll, and then we'll get the Bitcoin Core program up. So that's probably the end of, of this video. We'll go into the next one. Thanks for watching.